Hi, I'm Adam Harmat from McGill University, and this summer I helped the PR2 increase its capability for mobile manipulation and its responsiveness to environmental changes. PR2 can now see how to move its arms in order to avoid unexpected obstacles such as people. The robot can also now build persistent 3D maps, which opens up its workspace and the range of mobile manipulation tasks it can perform. Much of the work in manipulation at Willow Garage assumed that the environment did not substantially change in the duration between planning a motion for the arms to pick up or place an object and the execution of the motion. Thus, if a person or obstacle was placed in the arms path during execution, the robot would contact the person or obstacle, raising safety concerns and potentially harming the robot or dislodging an object from its grasp. I implemented a behavior that uses the head-mounted stereo cameras to monitor the robot's arm movement during execution. If an unexpected obstacle presents itself, the robot's motion will be arrested until the path is unobstructed. If sufficient time elapses, the robot will plan a new path to avoid the newfound obstacle. During my internship, I also implemented a new persistent 3D map that the robot can use to plan in a large area that rather than restricting manipulation to a static position in front of a table. This package enables the robot to locate tables, find objects on those tables, and to ferry objects between tables. Equipping the PR2 to transfer objects between tables and other surfaces should open up new and interesting domains for mobile manipulation. The persistent 3D collision map uses an octree structure to store its data along with the probabilistic update method. This allows us to differentiate between unknown, occupied, and free space, and to merge large areas of uniform status in order to reduce memory usage. For the multi-table manipulation, the occupied space in the persistent 3D collision map is processed to find likely tables. The perimeter of each table is expanded to find possible poses for the robot, which are then evaluated for reachability by the navigation stack. The volume above each table is then processed to find objects. Finally, good pickup and put down poses are chosen based on metrics such as average distance from objects. With these tools, the PR2 is able to carry out new tasks such as mobile manipulation while being more aware of and responsive to its surroundings. I would like to thank Gil and Radu at Willow Garage, as well as Kai Wurm and Armin Hornung at the University of Freiburg for the Octomath Library. For more information, please see ross.org.